three, two, one, live. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Today we're gonna continue with our blog. And so today our plan is to finish up the templates. Uh, let me open the server up. Okay. Go to my virtual environment. Source, VNV. Uh, Go. CD blog type python manage.py run search let me do the same thing over here <sighs> Yeah, so I sound a little bit rusty because like I just woke up uh, and I would like to do, I would like to finish all those videos in the morning. So source env um, then activate the server is on. So last time we stopped here just uh, took something from the uh, from the database yes and so uh, I was looking on some templates and I decided to use use this template and this template I think I have them downloaded somewhere I go to my finder <laughs> and my, my downloads. Yeah, if I uh, okay, wait, if I open this over here, come on, and if I open it in VS Code. So let's check how how does this work? Index.html it simply takes bootstrap.lin.css and it takes home home.css. So we're gonna have partials and down here um, okay it uses jQuery. So the stuff that we need to take are this. CSS, bootstrap, CSS, bootstrap domain that CSS, which is then this. And down here, bootstrap the bundle domain that bootstrap dot bundle domain that yes, this this thing and jQuery. jQuery domain that CSS that yes. Okay. Um, I think I got it now. So, uh, so what I did, I, I made a template folder and, and inside of our blog app, I made a folder called, called static and inside it, I created the CSS folder and JS folder. So what my thinking is that, um, in, in Django, there is like something called, uh, collect static, which collects all of the static files in, uh, uh, in an application and, and, and then it puts them in, in, inside this inside this temp no inside this templates folder uh, but I'm not 100 percent sure on that wait uh, let me make sure with the previous project.
So I, yeah, like, yeah, 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 I had my static for, I have one static folder over here, and the other static folder for inside here. Yeah, I got it. This don't save it. Okay, um, let me go and copy this stuff. Find it. Okay, so CSS. Uh, let me copy this. Blog the CSS. Uh, okay. Blog home CSS. Then renders bootstrap CSS. Bootstrap dot main dot CSS. Yeah, then JS. Yes. Um, okay, this is JavaScript. Which one do I mean that? Yes. And I remember that I need to with G, jQuery. Okay, jQuery is over here. jQuery don't need the. Yeah. Okay, so I have my static files inside the uh, in, in inside the folder inside the project. Now, ensure that Django contrib static files is included in your installed apps. In your settings file defines static underscore URL. For example, static URL slash static slash. Okay, so serving the files. In addition to this configuration, you also need to actually serve the static files. Uh, your project will also have static assets that are in type of particular app. In addition to use static directory inside your apps, you can find this directory static. I think I just run this function now. Python manager py collect static. Python, okay, let's see here. Python manager to be why collect static. Uh, you have request to get static files at the destination location as this will order all right, existing files, yes. Okay, something is wrong. Um, you're using the static files app Django. You're using the static files app without having the static root settings. Uh, static root settings. Hmm. Put over here. Static URL. So wait, uh, I do have a static URL. What about static? Set the static static root settings in your in your directory. What is static root? Ah, the ah uh, the, the, the absolute path to the directory will collect static will collect static files for for deployment. Static URL you're to use when referring to static files appearing located in static root. Um, hmm. let, let me check out this project. So my static root was this. 
and my static URL is this stat and static files directory was this also okay wait uh so what's the difference between static root and static url and static files in this in directories url to use when referring to static files located in static root ah so so this is referring to the files located in static root static root the absolute file path to the directory will click like stack okay so and static root is referring to the to the, to the file path in which collect static will will put all of the static files static file directories the setting defines additional locations for the static files output traverse of the file system finder find is enabled if you use the collect static files and find command to static Okay, uh, how about I just copy these for now? Okay, static, static, then blog, dot static. On the search for static files, okay, this worked. Okay, but where did it copy the actual thing? Ah, yeah, oh, okay, it copied the stuff over here. Okay, good, 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 good. Now the only thing left is to set up the templates. So I'm gonna have like a blog, then uh, partitions, I think it's called partitions, partitions, I, mean, I, I think that's how you spell it. So blog with partitions. Now for the templates. <laughs> Templates post so to be honest with you this should be named uh, posts and one for counts counts So uh, this I should have the posts .html and also post .html and partitions I should have the uh, store navbar navbar .html uh, underscore footer .html Counts. I should have uh, register .html, uh, login .html. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be working on these now. Let's let me have match one. This uh, post. Match one. This is a group of posts. Okay, but I do know that I have to connect them to the to here. Templates being a work framework, Django needs a convenient way to generate HTML dynamically. Ah, sorry, sorry, that's my phone. The most common approach relies on templates. A template contains the static parts of the desired HTML output as well as some special things where so dynamic content could be inserted. So an example is HTML pages use for all three. Django plugs that include one several template legends with even zero to use templates. God thanks.
Uh, Django ships built in backends for its own template system, creating creatively called the Django template language, and for the popular R alternative Jenga 2. Uh, backends for other template languages may be available from third party third, third parties. Django defines standard API for loading and rendering templates, regardless of backend logic. Loading consists of finding templates for a given identifying pre population. Django template, Django template language, Django defined template implements. For historical reasons, what is it? Tables, syntax, tags. Templates, yep, templates. There's a problem here with the page that's not coded if you want to change the way people are looking after this. Ah, oh, wait, so wait, so it's gonna look look for templates in my in my root in my root folder or in my or in the app. Uh, just let me check out how do I do this. Ah, okay, so so I add the directory for templates. Now it's the path of join the the root folder and then Temperature, which is this, which is referring to this. Okay, and then, and then at every, let's say for example, pages in my views, I simply render them when I want to render pages slash index stuff. HTML. Okay, let's check if this works. Um, post that HTML then not do not return this. Screw this. And screw this too. For now, that is render. Render request, then temp template name. This will be post slash post HTML post dot slash post dot HTML. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. This this is working. Just here. Okay, we have this working. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to make more um, more URLs. So path, uh, I'm gonna have to take an index key something listing. Something similar to this. Uh, this would be posts ID. Post. This would be post. Then define post. 
list. Um, do a little bit do a request both slash posts dot post dot dot html slash html got an unexpected key keyword post.id uh why is this unexpected ah oh, okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I get it. Uh, I, should, I should add this over here. Yeah, okay. Um, to be fair, I think I should also make a uh, Make a home in about like pages home dot uh, yeah home dot html and about dot html yeah and. Uh, let me create a new app. Python man manage.py. Uh, start app, I think. Pages. Products.py. Hopefully I should register this in my Django app. Okay, uh, what's the actual pages? Pages.apps. Pages config. Uh, is, it, is it contract? Pages config, yeah. And then in my in this, I will simply add post slash and for the this, I will simply include um, pages URL. Yeah, yeah, this looks about right. And in my page URLs over here. Let me simply copy this. Not this one. Here is the index. Then, uh, I th yeah, yeah, like I think it's one. It's, it's this or about or what I'm getting. Things wrong. Wait, man. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's simply about about use the about name equal. Ah, now speaking of this, I should, I should, I should have added the name index. Or this, this it should have been posts. You got post name equal posts. No, uh, 
be honest with you, it's 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 better to call this wall. Uh, it's because in my in my other I love posts. Hmm, I don't know what if I need this blank. This should work. Posts. I got on about by pages if I to define view dot no define index request return and the request ah uh, this will be pages slash pages slash uh, HTML. HTML. About. About return and the request. Then pages about 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 the HTML. Okay, about the HTML. Watch and tell. We're gonna add some some dummy data. This is the add page. Which one? Which one? This is the home page. Okay. Index request about request render. Okay. Okay. Everything should be working. Ah, uh, what's wrong? No name module. Ah, uh, no, okay. It's pages.urls. Ah, uh, should we start the server? This is the home page. Slash about. This is the about page slash post. Let's take a look of post slash post one. This is a post. Okay, this is good news. This is good news. This is very good news. Now, oh, speaking of that, I'm gonna have to find the. Uh, uh, let me at least add the navigation. Like partition. Um, I think I should like uh, I don't know, get something just like with Jenga. Load static. If my mem if my memory serves me right, yeah, there's. Partials. Load static, yeah. Add it and base.html. Ah, okay, so, so this is the base. Interesting. Okay, um. I should probably do the same thing over here. Not here.
uh, Django not indexed at the Django block. So we should copy this. So for this, I should load the um, what's the syntax like? Yeah, it's static slash static slash. Uh, I think I said. This is not this is not what I wanted. This is a bootstrap that mango CSS, so um static my static file is gonna be CSS slash uh, CSS it's going to be bootstrap dot bootstrap dot in dot dot css dot okay um Family came over. Static. Uh, that. I should do the same thing over here. Is this how it is? Okay, this looks a lot right. And I should add this script socket. Just let me, just let me copy this whole thing. Okay, yep. Head, body. I do not have a top bar. I simply have like another. I simply have a navigation bar. And I do have a footer, so I only have one script, one JS script, which is well, actually two. Okay, uh, now Jake jQuery. This should be jQuery. Main JS in this bootstrap dot main JS. Bootstrap.main.js. Hopefully, I got that right. And for my navigation, for navigation, navigation should be over here. Not bad. Get a shift. Got like that. For the footer, uh, do I need to load some static files? I do not think so. Um. Footer, simply this. Footer is going to be no. Footer is going to be this thing. So in my base.html, this should have a 
partials underscore navbar html underscore footer dot html and then in my let's say in my my pages home well screw that just set set to the posts I should um I should drop down to something similar like to load something is there is is there uh, extend extend space dot html okay just let me copy this extend space dot html extend dot html is again on the game block title uh post this is the group of, of, of posts. No, no, this is too long. Posts like that. Um, to okay, let's hope this works. Invalid block online static. Did you forget to register or load the static? Uh, what is that? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, up top I should. Um. Partials underscore partials. Ah, it's called no called partitions. Partials. Okay, 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 okay. This is not bad at all. So at least I got this to work slightly. If I copy and paste, okay, what else? Please help me. Why? Just let me close all, all of the Python stuff. Um, let's close everything. Go to templates, post, and deal with post and post. So let me copy this. Put it here. This is a this is a post. Let's say base.html okay now I'm gonna have to copy the rest of the stuff now from navigation to page content so from here to down here hmm. Okay. Okay. And for this, well, actually, we're gonna have to find um, like one more template, which is this. Uh, and then this is a single blog post. So this is right. So I have this. If I click read more, it should yeah, it should should op open this to me. I open the CSS, it should be blog post.css. Uh, is this the same as the CSS as I have? Um, blog static CSS, blog home.css. Okay, no, it's it, it is different. So I should add this here blog post CSS and renders bootstrap CSS. Thank you. 
appear to slip to me and open the thing over there. Mm. Open the thing. So it takes bootstrap of me.css, which I have, blogpost.css, and which I put, which I put. And down here, jQuery minus domain.js, and bootstrap, which I have. Okay, this is weird. No. This is posts, posts. No. I do not need this anymore. Open with uh, open with this code. The the uh, the header and footer are pretty much the same. If I now categories with widget side widget there so from under let's copy this properly post.html and on my base I should also load Static. Um, blog post. Dot CSS. Blog post. Dot CSS, which I should collect static again once again. Static. And once once that try copied. So if I go to my static, I should find it over here, block post with CSS. And if I load one, yep, this is working. Now I'm thinking, do I make the project a lot, a lot bigger than it should be? Like comments, like, like categories, stuff with images and so on. Well, screw it. Let's, let's, uh, let, let's actually do that. So this is the end of the video. We've, we've done some basic templating. I hope you enjoyed this and prob probably next time we will start to play around uh, with the template to make, just making stuff dynamic. Um, okay, I'm gonna see you next time.